Hello everyone. In this video, we will see questions related to the topic acids. So let's see. The first question, the following equation represents the reaction of dilute sulfuric acid. Which reaction is not typical of dilute acid? So you know, acids react with hydroxides, oxides, carbonates. But acids does not react uh, or react, but it's not a typical reaction of acids. So lead nitrate is not a typical reaction with sulfuric acid. Next, why is ethanoic acid described as a weak acid? So ethanoic acid, weak acids are those acids, you know, which are partially ionized or slightly ionized in water. So they are known as weak acids. So in the next question, uh, they're saying which observation is typical of a solid non-metal element. Okay, we've got, we've got a solid non-metallic element. So it reacts vigorously with chlorine. And we don't have any non-metal uh, in all levels that react vigorously with chlorine. Uh, conduct electricity? No. Solid non-metals, they don't conduct electricity. They don't have free ions. They have more than one oxygen state? No. More than one oxygen states, they are shown by transition elements. So it forms an acidic oxide? Yes, that is true. And it's typical for a solid non-metal. Which equation represents reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide? Hydrochloric acid produce H plus ions in water and OH negative is, are produced by hydroxides. So they both react to form water. So D is the correct answer for this question. Carbon and silicon are both in group four of the periodic table. Which statement is correct for both carbon dioxide and silicon dioxide? So carbon dioxide is CO2, silicon dioxide is SiO2. So they both, they are acidic oxides. Uh, yes, they are acidic oxides. They are readily soluble in water? No, carbon dioxide is soluble, but silicon dioxide is insoluble. They contain ionic bonds? No, carbon and oxygen and silicon, they're all non-metals so they can only form covalent bonds with one another so that's wrong statement they have giant molecular structure only silicon dioxide has giant molecular structure carbon dioxide is simple molecular so correct answer is a next question which statement does not describe the property of a weak acid in a solution it forms a salt with sodium hydroxide this is a correct statement acids do this it has a pH between 8 and 9. This is not a correct statement because whatever acid you have, weak or strong, their pH is always less than 7. So this is not uh, a correct property of a weak acid. So it's, it's the answer. It is only partially dissociated in ions. Yes, it is. Weak acids are partially dissociated. It reacts with sodium carbonate to give off gas. Yes, all acids, whether strong or weak, they react with sodium carbonate and release carbon dioxide. Next question. The following statements about dilute sulfuric acid are all correct. Okay. So they're saying which two statement confirms the acidic nature of the solution. So let's see. Uh, the first statement says the addition of universal indicator shows the solution has a pH value of 7. You got dilute sulfuric acid. So yes, it is true. pH value less than 7 means acid. Okay. A white precipitate is formed when aqueous barium nitrate is added. This reaction do take place, but it is not due to the acidic nature of sulfuric acid. So this is an incorrect statement. The solution reacts with copper oxide forming a blue solution. Copper oxide is a base and in this reaction, sulfuric acid act as an acid. So that is also a correct statement. So we got on option one and three. They are the correct statements. Next question. Which substance does not react with dilute hydrochloric acid? Does not react, you know, carbonates, they react with acids, hydroxides also react, metals also react, but nitrates, they don't react with acids. Uh, which solution containing one mole per dm cube of compound would have the lowest pH? So you want to have a solution which has the lowest pH. Lowest pH will be a strong acid. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid. Sodium chloride uh, is a salt that will be neutral. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. So that will be the answer. Which ion cause 
the acidity on dilute hydrochloric acid. So the ion that is responsible for acidity is H plus ions. Which pair of substance react to form a salt and water only? Okay, we know we need to know salt and water only. So sodium chloride solution and silver nitrate. In this reaction, silver nitrate, silver chloride and uh, sodium nitrate is formed. So we don't get salt and water. Sodium hydroxide and dilute ethanoic acid. Sodium hydroxide is an is a base, ethanoic acid is an acid, and acid and base they react to form salt and water. So that will be our answer. In the next part, you will have so, uh, you have sodium carbonate reacting with sulfuric acid. In this reaction, we get a salt, water, and carbon dioxide, while zinc react with dilute hydrochloric acid to produce salt and hydrogen. So uh, B is answer that produce salt and water only. Next question, uh, which reaction does not involve neutralization? Neutralization is a reaction, is a process in which an acid react with the base. So in all these reactions, we got sulfuric acid reacting with different compounds. Ammonia is a base, so that will be a neutralization reaction. Uh, barium chloride is not a base. So that would not be a neutralization reaction. Copper oxide is a base and acid. They react and it is a neutralization reaction. Sodium hydroxide is a base and acid. They react and form a neutralization reaction. So B is a correct answer. Which mixture would react with sulfuric acid to form two different gases? Two different gases. Uh, remember, we got dilute sulfuric acid, copper. Copper does not react with dilute acid because copper is a very unreactive element. So we will not get any gas. Magnesium carbonate gives you carbon dioxide gas. Okay. Uh, copper to carbonate, it will give you carbon dioxide gas and magnesium. Magnesium is a metal that will give you hydrogen gas. So that will be your answer because it is this mixture is giving you two different gases. One is carbon dioxide, other is hydrogen. While C option, Copper carbonate gives us carbon dioxide, but magnesium oxide do not produce any gas because it react with sulfuric acid to form salt and water only. No gas is formed. Similarly, copper oxide will not give any gas and it will give us salt and water. Only magnesium will give hydrogen. So B is the answer. In the next question, one mole of samples of each of the solid carbonates of lead calcium, barium and magnesium. So we got lead carbonate, calcium carbonate, barium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. They are reacted in turn with excess of dilute sulfuric acid. Which sample of carbonate will release the greatest volume of carbon dioxide? Uh, all of them they will react. But the problem is that when lead carbonate react with sulfuric acid, it will form lead sulfate that is insoluble in water. Similarly, calcium react with sulfuric acid to form calcium sulfate that will be insoluble. Barium react with sulfuric acid to form insoluble barium sulfate. They will react but the insoluble form they will produce a coating over here that will make the inner solid uh, not to react with sulfuric acid. So they will give you less gas. On the other hand, magnesium sulfate is a soluble sulfate. Magnesium as it is produced it will get dissolved in this solution. So uh, magnesium carbonate will always remain in contact with sulfuric acid. So that's why magnesium will give us the greatest volume of carbon dioxide. These were some questions from acids. Now let's see uh, some questions from bases. So in the first question from bases we got ammonia may be obtained but from ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride is NH4Cl on heating with. Remember ammonium salts. Ammonium salt react with bases and they give off ammonia. Bases are metal oxides, metal hydroxides. So when they react with these compounds, we get ammonia gas. So uh, calcium chloride is not a B aquasodium acid. Yes, that is the answer because hydroxides, they react with ammonium salts to give ammonia gas. Which compound will not produce uh, ammonia when heated with ammonium sulfate? Similar question. I told you bases react with ammonium salts to make ammonia. So calcium oxide is a base that will react 
magnesium oxide will react to form as ammonia gas sodium hydroxide will also react but sulfuric acid it will not react with ammonium sulfate to form ammonia gas next solution x has a ph of 12 ph 12 mean it is a strong base it is added to an aqueous ammonium chloride okay the mixture is formed which information is correct so the ph 12 means we got a base so solution x is alkaline and when it is heated with ammonium chloride you know base react with ammonium chloride to form ammonia gas so c is a correct answer so let's see next questions when when the product of a reaction between two gases is added to water a solution of ph 7 is formed so ph 7 is a neutral ph let's see which of these two gases hydrogen and chlorine when they react they produce hcl gas that is acidic that will not give you ph 7 hydrogen and nitrogen they will react to form ammonia ammonia is a gas that is a base that will have a higher ph than 7 hydrogen and oxygen they will react to form water and they, that will produce a ph of 7 that is the correct answer while carbon monoxide is co react with oxygen to give carbon dioxide that is acidic and it will give a ph less than 7 which of the following pairs of compounds react together to produce ammonia ammonia gas is produced whenever ammonium compounds they are reacted with oxides and hydroxides so we got these two options oxides and hydroxides so we got uh, two and three is our other correct statements in the next question four separate mixtures of solutions of a solid are made as given in the table the mixtures are warmed in which mixture does a gas form okay sodium hydroxide and ammonium chloride sodium hydroxide is a base and ammonium chloride is an ammonium salt definitely it will give off a gas that is ammonia sodium hydroxide and magnesium they cannot react and uh, they will not give you any gas so it's fine then uh, sulfuric acid and ammonium chloride they cannot react ammonium chloride react with base not with acid so it will not give you any gas so we got the answer is b and in the last statement you can see magnesium react with sulfuric acid to give off hydrogen gas next question a former spread ammonium nitrate ammonium nitrate contain nh4 positive ions a nitrogenous fertilizer the next day he spreads calcium hydroxide the oh ions present in it this caused the loss of nitrogen from the ammonium nitrate which statement is correct so we have already done many questions on this that whenever an ammonium compound is reacted with a base it gives off ammonia gas so uh, the options with ammonia gas they would be fine uh, we have two statements in which there is uh, producing ammonia is given uh, okay but ammonium ions react with what do they react with calcium or they with hydroxides ammonium ions react with hydroxides not with calcium because uh, you can have sodium hydroxide we can have potassium hydroxide they all react with ammonium nitrate so actually the it's not the calcium or the sodium or the potassium that react with ammonium but it's the hydroxide that reacts so c is the correct statement let's see these questions uh, which gas dissolves in water to produce a solution with ph greater than 7 greater than 7 means the gas should be a base uh, ammonia is a basic gas that will produce this carbon dioxide is an acidic gas nitrogen dioxide is also an acidic gas sulfur dioxide they're all acidic gases because they're all non-metal oxides the next question a solution of w has the following properties when added to excess of solid ammonium chloride a gas is given off that turns damp red mist paper blue so damp red litmus to blue it can be done by a gas that is a base so we can have either a strong base or a weak base both are possible but next when uh, when added to an excess of solution of ph3 you got an acidic solution and you are adding the compound w into it and we get a solution with ph13 13 ph is not because of a weak base it is a strong base that has ph of 13 so these were questions related to bases now let's see some questions related to indicators and ph next question is from indicators uh, in which they're saying the diagram shows the colors of indicators methyl orange methyl red at different ph values uh, the table 
shows the pH of four solutions. We got W, X, Y, Z. We got four solutions which have different pH. Uh, in which solution will both of the indicators be yellow? So you see uh, methyl orange is yellow at pH 4, 5 and 6 while methyl red is yellow at pH 6. So both of these, they're saying both of these indicators should be yellow. So that is only possible with solution Z, which has a pH of 6 that will be produce a yellow color in both of them. So Z only is answer. In the next question, the table gives information about three indicators, methyl orange, bromothiamol blue and phenolphthalein and their pH at which the color change takes place. So if equal volumes of the three indicators, three indicators are mixed, which color would be observed at pH 5? Okay, we have mixed all of them and we have put them in a solution with pH 5. What color will be observed? Let's see the colors. Methyl orange, uh, that will be yellow at pH 5. Bromothymol blue will also be yellow at pH 5. We got at pH 6.5, it turns yellow to blue. So at 5, it will be yellow. Phenolphthalein is colorless at uh, and change to pink at 9 but at 5 it will be colorless so we will have a yellow color in this solution with pH 5 so the next question the table gives information about uh, three indicators we got thymol blue Congo red and phenolphthalein and their color at uh, two different pH 1 and 12 and at which pH they change their color so which color would be obtained when e each indicator was added separately to pure water. So pure water, you know, has a pH of 7. So let's work it out. Uh, pH 7, thymol blue, change color at 3. So above 3, it will be yellow. Congo red, it change color at 5. That means it will be uh, red at uh, pH 7. And while phenolphthalein, it change color at 10. So it would be colorless at pH 7. So the answer it would be uh, thymol blue should be yellow uh, congo red should be red congo red should be red so we got this answer d let's see some questions from ph now in this question a black powder is burned in air the gas produced is dissolves in water we got a black powder and uh, the gas produced dissolves in water to form a solution r the pH of R is close to 7, okay? The gas is readily absorbed in aqueous sodium hydroxide. So, the gas that is dissolved in aqueous sodium hydroxide, that has to be acidic. Okay, uh, which type of substance is present in R? Since we got a pH close to 7 and uh, the gas is absorbed by aqueous sodium hydroxide, it should be an acid what sort of acid it should be since pH is close to 7 that has to be a weak acid an excess of calcium hydroxide is added in an acidic soil what happens to the pH of the soil okay so we got calcium hydroxide uh, it's a base so pH will definitely increase but uh, what will be the final pH will it be 7 or 10 since we have added an excess of the base, excess base will make the pH more than 7, that is 10. So B is the correct answer. So the next question, we have the pH of an aqueous solution of hydrochloric acid is 2. What will be the pH of the acid after the addition of 10 grams of sodium chloride? Now sodium chloride is a salt, sodium chloride is a salt NaCl and it is neutral so we will not have any change in the pH so pH will remain 2 even we add sodium chloride into it because it will not react with HCl and will not cause any change in the pH sample of air was uh, bubbled into water okay air air is bubbled into water the pH of water slowly changed 7 to 6 pH decrease become acidic slightly so which substance which gas is in the sample cause this change it can be caused by an acidic gas, carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide gas is not present in air and nitrogen and oxygen, they both don't react with water. Which calcium compound does not increase the pH of the acidic soils? Okay, calcium carbonate 
it will react with the acids and it will bring the change because carbonates carbonates they react with acids and they produce salt water and carbon dioxide calcium hydroxide will react it's a base calcium oxide will also react but calcium sulfate cannot react it's a sulfate and sulfates they have no reaction with acids so there'll be no change in the pH in this case next question which row shows the pH values of 0.1 mole per dm cube solution of ammonia hydrochloric acid sodium chloride and sodium hydroxide okay now HCl is a strong acid okay being a strong acid uh, its pH it should not be 7 or 11 it is 1 while uh, ammonia is a base so base means its pH should not be 7 it would be 11 rather so we got the answer C sodium chloride is neutral 7 pH and sodium hydroxide is a, v, is a strong base having a 13 pH so in the next question uh, which rows shows the order of increasing pH lowest to highest for strong acid strong bases weak acids and weak bases okay the strong acids they have the lowest pH and then we got the weak acids and then weak bases and strong bases has the highest pH so A is the correct answer a household cleaning compound is used to remove calcium carbonate from bathroom surfaces which compound react with calcium carbonate to form a soluble salt carbon dioxide and water so we need to react a, a carbonate so carbonate react with acids acids have pH that is less than 7 so we have a pH of 2 that will react with carbonate so these were the questions related to the acids alkalis bases uh, and we have done indicators and pH so we'll solve some more questions in the next video till then goodbye